So imagine you have a three-year-old child. You take them to the playground, and somebody comes up and grabs that child by the throat and then starts licking all of their face, this person being a 19-year-old. Now, they will say that this is because this person's autistic. I'm going to show you a video. Y'all let me know what you think. Sorry for the video being sideways. respect his opinion and what he has to say and leave it at that. Mm -hmm. You have your own opinion. And then guess what? It's going to happen again. So how do you know that? How do you know that? Because if he clearly did it once to him without him there, whatever. Seriously? What do you, what, what what do you want us to do? What, what do you want us to do? Just put an arm in him. Don't let him come here by himself. We are doing don't tell, best, don't tell somebody okay? else that parent their child. You well, wouldn't then, want somebody to tell you. What are we going to do when this shit happens again? He's literally right there. It could have happened to him and he's a lot smaller. You're right. If you were here watching your child, why did you let him get that close to your kiddo? No. Oh my goodness! Oh. Yeah, I got that! Sorry, that part was loud in your ears. But what ended up happening? She goes to say, why would you let your child get that close to a 19-year-old? Now, everybody, I'm sure, is going to tell the same story. Everybody has a special needs friend. Everybody who has been around autism. I have been around it as well. I agree. Obviously, I work in the school system, like I've told you guys. So I've been around autistic kids a lot of my life. Listen, and I've also been around autistic people who are older. I personally, and I'm not saying this doesn't happen. I personally have never seen an autistic person mess around with kids in a way that where they're grabbing the throat and licking all over their face. See, there does need to be a distinction here. Okay. I understand that we always want to protect people who are dealing with autism. At the same time, you cannot blame a three-year-old kid for walking up to somebody they don't see as dangerous. And not only that, the 19-year-old walked up to the kid as well, grabbed him by the throat, and started looking all over his face. The three-year-old was playing at the playground. So it's not like the three-year-old went out of their way to go to the 19-year-old. They were both at the playground. The parents of the 19-year-old autistic kid were somewhere else not to be found. And then this is what happened. The kid gets, gets grabbed by the throat, gets licked all over the face. The parents show up. And now you're seeing what's happening in the aftermath after the police got called. The police is not even trying to be on their side. You heard the woman say, well, why weren't you there for your child? And you also heard the man saying, well, what does it matter? We're not going to agree. What are you saying? And then she also goes on to say, the female cop goes on to say, don't tell somebody how to parent their child. Now, wait a minute. Just because this person's autistic doesn't mean they get to go around doing whatever they want to a kid. Because remember, hand around the throat. Keep that in mind. This is the three-year-old boy. Are you going to let this 19-year-old walk up to a toddler and choke him? Are you going to let this 19-year-old walk up to a, another 4-year-old, 5-year-old that just happens to be playing around on the playground? What if the 19-year-old just runs up, which is what it sounded like happened here, and just, just chokes him, starts choking a kid? The kid gets injured because this could be a bigger 19-year-old. Understand, this is the 19-year-old versus a 3-year-old. Goes in there, chokes him, or does something to injure the child. Are we going to say you should have been watching the child? Listen, we are always here to protect those people who are special needs, but at the same time, you do need to keep these people away from children if they happen to do these kind of things. Like I said, I obviously know people who are autistic today. I'm sure you do as well. This is not normal behavior. They don't walk up to three-year-olds and start choking them. I know a 27-year-old right now that I work with. She is, you know, she just works with the kids. Obviously, we're there to supervise, but she has never walked up to a child and choked them or done anything inappropriate with the kid. Even though she technically, mentally is around a 10-year-old, 11-year-old, at no point has she ever done that. I know another one who worked in the cafeteria, never did anything like that to anybody. I know one that's a janitor, never did that to any of the kids. So to say that just because they're autistic, that they go around doing this kind of stuff is so inaccurate. And I think it's, it, it, it kind of bothers me that they would even put that on that, would even give that as an excuse. If that is a problem, you should always be watching. For the cops that did not do their job and was saying that it was simply the parents' fault, of the three-year-old for somebody walking up to them and choking their child and then licking all over their face and doing things that were very inappropriate. Please do better. But maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm crazy. Let me know what you think in the comment section down below. I'm out of here. Goodbye.